In the beginning, there was peace for a time. Then the darkness swept over the stars and the great war began. One mighty hero arose, the Taka, who aided in defeating the darkness and restoring balance to the universe. In the second age of the soul, humanity was brought to the stars and peace returned for a time. Now the realm of humans is plagued. Wars break out in the outer reaches of humanity's grip. Some find peace in the deep black of the fringe, deep in the far reaches of the realm of man. Our story follows one such group. I'm already on that. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just something about this place is unsettling. You aren't getting spooked by the stories from those tall duck miners, are you? Need I remind you that the only reason that salvage is looming out there is because those superstitious little diggers won't go anywhere near it? Maybe it's because we're floating in an O-Fi zone. Yeah, that's why we had Helena go and put a blinder on our friends at the Star Force. Alright, wake the crew. Let's do this and get gone. Alright. Happy hunting. Just, uh, we'll be 
here, so you hurry on back. <laughs> that was not superstitious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just be careful, okay? Sensors are blocked after seven splits have given some really weird gravimetric distortion from those rocks. I'll send it to as soon as I can. Profile, scanners? Negative. I'm using full active scanners, but there is large amounts of distortion from the surrounding asteroids. Alright. Let's take a full pass the belt if we can. Keep those sensors good. Understood. I'm getting a lot of distortion. I'm not getting attention paying on Deacon anymore. Well, you better, because I'm not flying through this mess to get him. Attention. I have registered a faint signal on active sensor range. Location. Or 12 by 6. Alright, let's go have a look. Because Helena and 21 are on the planet's blocking their sensors. Reconvene today on Olympus CP to debate the recent police action on Roosevelt, Damien, and the Fomacine 5 colony in the past six years alone. This was felt to be the prelude to the three year Gihorn War. Another topic of debate is the recent identification compliance act. And as for comment in the public opinion that Star Force has given too much control, the IPC in place is now up for review in the Assembly. No assembly is available. The IPC requires all citizens of allied systems to show ID cards without question to any enforcement officer. Many protesters to the act say it is an infringement of the Allied Rights Proclamation. Starforce says that terror strikes are down 20 percent this year alone. High Angel Emissary Cassis's office on Olympus CP had no comment as well. Though this marks the third week no one has seen the angelic alien, leaving some to speculate she has left Olympus. In other news, the Valorian transport ship Nafal was attacked while flying in the outer reaches. This marks the fifth pirate attack in a month, causing Starforce to up its patrols. Even the flagship, the Chronostar, is out patrolling the outer reaches for any sign of danger to United Star System citizens. Its surface is bouncing our sensors off it like a mirror. The only thing I can scan are those raised scars. Damage. Even current information, I believe the scars represent reconstructed blood. Like healing, but very slow. Anything else? Nothing. I can even discern what is made up from this distance. Alright. Let's call this a joke. You think what's up? Found something. Gather what the tall dogs are talking about. Hope I can't get a good scan, so I'm gonna get past that and see if I can't find an opening. Go in, set, ascertain if there's any valuables, grab it and leave. See if we can tow it out, maybe. Are you transmitting your visuals? Uh, yeah, sending it now. Whoa, that thing is huge. Take it easy there, Chief. Always. Take it out.
Something will happen to you. Unknown. All forward motion has ceased. The system malfunction? No. All systems are now in function. Alert. We are now being pulled backwards. What? 